what's going on y'all welcome to the trucker style sean youtube channel and again we're going to be going over the load board now if you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and do that now if you don't mind leave a like and a comment down in the comment section for whatever areas you might want me to check out next let's get it started y'all I'm back. All right, you guys. Let's check out some of these load boards today. I think since we always normally start with debt, let's start with convoy today. Let's see. I think we just have Florida pulled up right now. Let's do a new search. I know somebody wanted me to do North Carolina. So let's say Charlotte within 250 miles going anywhere. Let's see what they got, y'all. Now, I apologize. My internet's not the greatest right here where I'm at. As you can see, I only got two bars. I do have LTE, but still not the greatest. All right. These are the loads we have in North Carolina going anywhere. Now, as you can see, some of the rates, I mean, they are low, but that's one of the good things. There you go. Local Atlanta daily rate that you can bid. It's a contract. If you book enough loads with Convoy, they'll put it so that you can actually qualify for doing dedicated lanes. At least that's what they told me. They've called me a few times. They're like, hey, why don't you book as much freight with us? And my response is always because I have dedicated contracts. I really only use you guys when either seasons are slow or the workloads are down just so I can keep my guys running. That's just how I do it. I know everybody's differently, but... That's how it is, you guys. Now, you can see in some of the loads. There you go. There's a power only. Now, remember the power onlys. They, they are good and they're bad all at the same time. All because you are going to get them at a lower rate because you're using their trailer. But at the same time on like the off times before you return the trailer you can always book another load as long as you get the trailer returned on time uh, i did some of their power only runs a while back i had some of my guys doing them all in all it's not a bad process it really isn't but they are going to hit you on those rates because you are using their trailers so that's one thing you do have to look out for And all right, let's uh, let's edit it a little bit. Let's see, where else should we look? Let's try Ontario, California. Might as well. It was already up there. Let's check it out. Yet again, sorry for the slow internet, people. You do what you got to do when you're making a video. Let's see what they got. See, they got the power only runs out there in Cali also. Let's just go through the list. There you go. Las Vegas to McFarland, California. There you go. That'd be a good one for Ghost to check out. I know he doesn't watch my videos probably, but you might want to check that one out because he always does Arizona and California. So that might uh, that might be a good one for him. But these are the loads. Did you see them? Now remember, Convoy, you do get to place a bid. It isn't just a you take what you get type thing. You do actually get to place a bid, so keep that in mind. 
And I think today we might check out another one. I had a subscriber. He um, suggested another load board app that uh, I went and I checked out. It seems pretty decent. I might show you all that one here too. Might as well, right? There we go. Let's move it out of California. Let's see something else, How shall we? Let's see. Where else should we do? Leave down in the comments, you guys, so I know where y'all want to see. Let's try Atlanta, Georgia. Dang, I'm jumping all over the country, ain't I? But uh, remember, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you like the kind of videos I'm bringing. Uh, remember, load board videos aren't the only type of videos I do. I also do uh, some truck builds, a lot of truck repairs, and how to start and manage a fleet of trucks. I am a fleet owner, so that is, uh, that is what I do, and I like to share my experience and the mistakes and everything that I've made along the way. That way, y'all don't have to make those same mistakes. And I'm always here for advice. Just leave your questions down in the comment section. I try and respond to all the comments that are actually questions instead of statements. So if you got a question, go ahead and uh, and leave them down in the comment section, you guys. But these are loads in Georgia right now. I got it set for going anywhere. All right. All right, let's, let, let's hop out of this app real quick. The other app I was talking about... I didn't remember the name was truckloads and this is a, a new one I just downloaded so let's uh, let's set a pickup location it yeah, might as well let's try Orlando deadhead we can have to 500 miles anywhere anywhere let's see what they got there you go <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. That's pretty cool now. I've never used this app before, but I think this is actual shipper putting a load on the load board instead of like a broker. So that'd be pretty cool. Yep, it, that's kind of like what it looks like. So if that's actually the case, I mean, I'm going to have to uh, contact these people, find out. But uh, if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Now, there ain't as many loads on here as I thought there would be. So, But that's that's still pretty dang cool. Now, this one... Oh, all right. You can't... All right, well, you can only search one at a time. Let's keep searching van loads. Um, now, pick up location. Let's try another one. Let's go with... Hmm... Where should we look? Come on, y'all. Y'all got to give me some cities here. Let's see. Baltimore, Maryland. Let's see what they got. All right. Now, these are the loads. Yep, it, that's what it looks like. Shippers. They're actually putting loads on here on the load board. Now, I like to see that because you actually get to deal direct. The more you do and more you deal directly with them, the higher probability you'll get of actually getting a dedicated contract and not have to go through an app. And you can actually like talk to them directly. Now, that is a very big plus because if you can cut the middleman out, a.k.a. the broker or load board apps, then... You're, that's just more money you'll keep in your pocket. You deal directly, and you don't have to deal with a middleman, like I said. That's how I like to deal and do business, is directly. But sometimes the uh, the load board apps, they, they are very helpful in some situations. Me, personally, I don't like running spot market freight. That's just my personal opinion. I'd much rather have dedicated contracts, but 
and again, take what I say with a grain of salt. Everybody's different. Everybody makes their own paths. So that's uh, that's just my two cents. Let's see Rochester, New York next. How about that? I saw that over there. Let's see what they get. Now after this, we're going to try... Oh, there you go. Detroit, Michigan. The Grand Haven, Michigan. But uh, after this, I think we're going to try Uber Freight. It was working this morning when I looked at the app. But like I said, dude, I've had so many problems with the Uber Freight app that it, it's just ridiculous. And I've just... I'm tired of actually contacting these people. It'll work for like a couple of days. Then you got to call in and it just, it stops working for you. I don't know if it's just me or that I'm having all these problems with the app, but that's just the my experience so far with Uber Freight. All right, let's hop off of here now. Remember that's trucker, uh, truckloads. All right, let's try the Uber Freight again. And, of course, I'm logged out yet again. I, I'm, I'm tired of this one. I'm so tired of that app. All right, let's go to my favorite one, Debt. Let's try this. here. Well, we already got it on Texas. Might as well keep it on there. Here's a load they got coming out of Texas. If anybody's interested on any of the loads, if you see it, go ahead and leave it in the comment section if you if it's within the time frame of pickup. And uh, if you want, I'll, uh, I'll click on that load, get the broker information for you, and leave it down in the comment section. I try and check. If somebody leaves a comment, I try and answer it like pr within a timely manner, unless I'm sleeping. But, uh, yeah, if you see a load on here, and if it's within the dates you need it, just let me know what it was, on what app, where it's going, what it is, and let me s and say what the broker's name is. You see that right down there at the bottom, like this Houston, Texas, Cincinnati, Ohio load, weighing 22,769 pounds, and the broker is DNL Transport, LLC. Now, it, it just let me know all that information so I know I'm looking up the correct load for you. And if you want, I can just re-comment back what the, uh, the broker's phone number is. That way you can get in contact with them as well. I don't mind doing that. If, uh, if it'll help you guys, then I don't mind doing it. There's a load right there on my birthday, August 3rd. Houston, Texas, Pensacola, Florida. All right, let's change it up a little bit. Let's get out of Texas. How about we just uh, do a random flick? Oh, no, way too, there we go, right there. Kansas, all right, that's what we're doing right now. Let's see what they got. All right. Now these are loads coming out of Kansas. All right. Yet again, y'all see anything? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button, you guys. And when you like and you comment on the video, it really does help with the YouTube analytics and it shares the channel even more. So more people might be able to see it. And if maybe if y'all think that... uh. Anything that I teach in any of my videos might be helpful to someone else. Your likes and your comments really do make the difference. And if you want, share the channel with your friends. I wouldn't mind. Hell, I'd pretty gladly appreciate that. There we go. Remember, this is Kansas. What state should we look up next? What state? 
Here's one I haven't looked up on here yet. Let's let's try New Mexico. God, it's been years since I've been in New Mexico. If y'all remember, I haven't uh, I haven't done freight out of the state of Florida in many many years. My over the road days ended a long time ago. Granted. When the kids get a little bit older, I might uh, might start running out of the state a little bit just to take them with me so they can see the country a little bit. I got my daughter. She's 11 right now, and she's already saying she wants to be a truck driver when she gets older. And, hey, if that's what she wants, I ain't going to stop her, you know. Just maybe take her on a nice month-long uh, journey and show her what it's really like living on the road. And see if that's really what she would want to do. But, I don't know. Y'all other drivers, let me know. If uh, if your kid wanted to be a truck driver also, what's the advice you would give him? Leave that down in the comment section as well, y'all. Alright. Just moving along, y'all. Just moving along. Alright, well I think we'll bring this one to an end now, but uh, yeah, let me know what states y'all want to see, what freight you want to see in what states, let me know how y'all are feeling.